and welcome to a 48 to nothing edition of Student of the Game. I'm your boy, Ro, contributor for State of the U and OG member of the Orange Bowl boys. Customary intro aside, we're going to jump right to the defensive side of the ball. I know, that's like a little countercultural to how I operate on this channel, but when you go ahead and you shut out a coastal ACC opponent on the road, you deserve some love. So you're up first, defense. And right here, let's meet at the QB. Yeah, it wasn't just a coach's, you know, hashtag on Twitter. That's exactly what's going to happen here. And you have Phillips and Roche. Those are the guys that we had high expectations on this second and 10. Now, remember, this is on the first drive for the defense after the offense came out and coughed up the ball. And you were thinking, oh, no, the rust, the rooster. Oh, no, he fumbles. Now you're inside plus territory for Duke, and you have to make a stand, and the defense asserts its dominance quickly and easily now i want to go, go ahead and show it never fails too because watch this watch this move inside right here and boom oh, ready boom oh you don't think he's being held look his shirt's being pulled out right come on acc refs now at this juncture you're also going to see quincy roche he's going to spin move inside and there you go let's meet at the qb and big bully nest he also had some hands on the quarterback when they went down this is how you go ahead and respond. This is that quick change of pace, and this is what a good defense can do for you. You fumble on offense, but it's all right. Your defense can go ahead, and they get your back. So on third and 13, inside your own 10-yard line, this successful conversion would be the catalyst that would lead to points and honestly would be the pivotal play of this drive. Now, I want you to go back and look a couple weeks ago when you played Virginia Tech because – Virginia Tech was essentially taking, and you can see right there at the bottom of the screen, the defensive tackle was occupying two, and then the defensive end would swing around in this gaping hole and have access to De'Ara King. That simple stunt provided a lot of problems for the University of Miami Hurricanes that week. Now, come back here to Duke, because you're going to see a little bit of a change, and I like it, because instead of being passive-aggressive... You were aggressive, and it all starts here with the pass pro of Cam Harris. Watch him go ahead, and there it is. Again, they're taking the defensive tackle to occupy two. At this case, the defensive end is going to have clear access, or you would think, except Cam Harris meets him there. He knew exactly where it was coming from. That is great film study. That is a great adaptation to the pass pro. And De'Ara King takes care of the rest. This dig, nice open window. By the way, that was like his second or third read when you're paying attention. But that was a great, great design. And that was a great adjustment to something that victimized you a couple weeks ago. Miami's definitely making the adjustments. And it's good to see. Mamas and papas, I'm going to need you to hide your kids. Because this is QB porn. And we'll get there. But let's set up the play first. It's 12 set personnel. Here's your one running back. Miami tight end you. There's Will Mallory in line. And then you have Brevin Jordan motioning across the formation. And we're going to stop the film right here. He's going to attach behind Will Mallory. And here is the play design. You're going to have Will Mallory taking a corner route. And you're going to have Brevin Jordan's going to be running a post, a skinny, right behind Will Mallory. Now, at the bottom of the screen, you're going to have a quick, you know, hot and now bubble screen. But De'Ara King knows exactly in his mind where he's going with the football, or potentially. And it's man two. So you're going to have two safeties up top, right? And then you're going to have this defender right here, cornerback. He's going to attach man to Brevin Jordan. You're going to have man right here with the bubble screen. So let's focus on these two safeties. I know that my corner route is going to occupy this safety. I know my bang eight, my post on this inside, is pretty much going to take the attention right here at the cornerback. So who's my responsibility as a quarterback? Who is mine? It's this defender right here. And you want to know how this touchdown happens? Because it's a well-coached quarterback. And watch what he does with his eyes right here. Where is he looking? He is looking right at this defender. And why is he looking at him? Because you need to freeze him because if you didn't, he would have made that play. Do you see that? Do you see how that subtle head movement, that sabotage, let me keep that safety in the field because he's the one who can disrupt this. He isn't, and you know what happens next. 
bang. So for those who maybe not have noticed, Big 55 was back in for the University of Miami, and he made his presence known in a hurry. Big 5'5", five five, Navon Donaldson, is a people mover. Now, <laughs> this linebacker, right? Where are you going, bro? Boom. He gets stonewalled. And right here, big open hole. Mike linebacker right here, bad run fit. You're also going to see the the respectability of De'Eric King's feet can't be overstated here as well because this also leads to a touchdown. So multiple assets. First of all, Navon Donaldson just clearly moved his defender out of the way, and you have a gaping hole. Bad linebacker fit, and then the safety right here, see? He's just respecting De'Eric King just enough that he goes ahead and steps out of position. Cam Harris's speed is going to take the rest. Now, Navon... <laughs> He's going to end up pushing this guy all the way over to this hash. <laughs> just just keeps just keeps pushing him. That a boy. There's the safety misstep. Bang. Who you fooling, man? So Miami going to be running a midline read. Uh, this is what I mean right here. You let that defensive tackle go in, and the quarterback is just making that read right here. Typically, you get that zone read where you're looking at the defensive end, but this is the midline read, right? This is what you're reading. So, Derek King does a good job because that's what he does. He's going to be able to keep that defensive tackle occupied on him. But Cam Harris has the ball. And what sorcery is this? Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> My goodness. But he's like an eel. De'Eric King, this is another example of him reading the field right. Duke comes out in a 3-3-5, not pictured at the bottom of the screen. You're going to have another cornerback. This is a two-by-one look by University of Miami. They're going to employ max protection scheme. Now, here's what I meant by he's reading the field right, because the safety right here at the snap of the ball, this is pre-snap, but watch what happens post-snap. Right here, he's starting to rotate. Look. Right there, he took the bait because De'Eric King, and we're going to go ahead and back this up just a little bit. Right here, when he comes out, look at his vision. He's going to go ahead and initially just look right down the middle of the field. There he goes, straight ahead. This got the safety to kind of turn his hips and focus more on this X receiver out here one-on-one -on -one to the press man. Max protection scheme. I also like Navon Donaldson here because he's going to look for work, make sure there he goes. He hits it, and look at this beautiful ball. He vacated that single high safety look, and right on the break. Look, the hand is coming up. Boom. What a brilliantly thrown ball. Now I'm going to back this up one more time and play this in real time because I want you to go ahead and just see. This is a big man. This is, this is Brevin Jordan out here in the slot down here. This is a DB. He looks nimble. Just pay attention to this. See ya. This is going to be a real quick clip, but you want to talk about backside pursuit, Mr. Two, Quincy Roche. My goodness, son. One of the reasons why you got 13 tackles for loss. So we're going to follow right up with that quick hitter clip with Quincy Roche chasing somebody from the backside. But now he's right here in third and seven. He's right next to Phillips. So Phillips slides inside. You want to talk about pick your poison, ACC opponents. This is a bad lineup for you. So right here, shifting, you got somebody on the inside right here. This technically would be a one tech. And then right here on the three and the five in, this is Phillips' turn. You get a slow guard. Let's meet at the QB again. So the University of Miami, once again, is using a max protection scheme to get De'Ara King the time needed to get the ball downfield. And it's not a crazy concept. It's all verticals. Yeah, all verticals would make Mark Rick blush. It's just how they got that in the stack formation over here, which led to the coverage bust. And you'll figure out whose fault it is rather shortly. But I want you to go ahead and pay attention right here in the middle of the field because this sets it up as well. The play-action pass, 
Look at the play action pass flow bait, and there it is. There's the play action pass. And just throwing that ball out there like that, it sucked up four defenders into no man's land. When you have no safety over the top, or he got caught in, you know, pit Narduzzi land right here. You have zero safety help. This is cover zero. And at this point, when Derek King goes ahead and sees the coverage bust, you're going to find out real quick whose fault it is right there. Because when this defender is looking back at this defender with his arms up, yeah, pretty, pretty good indication that you're bad. Well, all right, all right. Third and three in the Miami Hurricanes defense is facing the Duke Blue Devils in this two-by-two two tight to the formation look. Also, you got to pay attention to this running back who's tucked in to the field side next to the quarterback, making it the pass strength of this actual formation and set. So anytime you're in close to the set, third and three, you got to be on alert for a couple concepts, including a mesh concept. Now, I felt that the University of Miami, especially a couple weeks ago when they faced off against NC State in the tight bunch looks, uh, they were getting pretty much chunked up and on mesh concepts. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to rewind that tape and we're going to see one of those examples right here at the snap of the ball you're going to see right there there's McLeod he's going to go ahead and not take the best angle kind of get clipped now he's vacating he's running around and there is the mesh at the middle of the field it's going to get wide open so wouldn't you know it copycat league there's the open wide receiver now coming into view you also had that wheel route breaking open so like I said copycat league and that's the stuff that's going to happen, and you got to go ahead and make the adjustments. And that's exactly what University of Miami does here. And pay attention to Keontra Smith. You think he's quick to diagnose? He's pointing it out, and he sees it. As soon as he sees the running back flare, look at this better angle. He gets out there, and you want to talk about a great open field tackle. My goodness. Way to adapt, way to adjust, way to get better, Miami. So this is going to be the final clip of the night. You see the score at the bottom of the screen. It's 48 to nothing. And we're going to end up on a true freshman cornerback interception. But I know quarterback for Duke. This is their second buddy. Now he's come in and basically the first play he comes in, he fumbles the ball, and this is his second drive. Um, you think the pass rush is starting to get to these quarterbacks? Why don't you just pay attention to these feet? Whoa, whoa. Try to go ahead in a little sidearm delivery. Try to come all platform because you get some pressure in your face. Ball's going to be high. And break out the chain again. 